for more. Our international affairs editor, Armin Georgian, joins me here in studio. Um, thousands of people are expected to attend a concert a little, a little later today uh, that's being organised against the far-right protests that we've been seeing over the course of the past week. Tell us, where are these tensions coming from? Uh, are migrants disproportionately involved in crime in Germany? There's a difference between perceptions and, and facts, Sharon. Uh, the the uh, Federal uh, Criminal Office has released uh, reports annually for crime, and it shows a dip in crime, firstly in 2016, so after that major influx of refugees, and again in 2017. So it actually shows a further drop in 2017. Uh, so when you think of Angela Merkel's famous slogan in 2015, uh, we can do it, uh, that was when she accepted the one million refugees in Germany. Um, you could say, well, in a sense, uh, if crime is down two years running, this is four years, uh, three years, sorry, after that influx of refugees, then in a way, is she not vindicated? Well, the answer is a bit more complex, because if you break down the crime into specific kinds of crime, you can see that, for example, uh, with pickpocketing, migrants do account for nearly 32 per cent of those crimes. And that is obviously disproportionate, because migrants don't represent anything like 32 per cent of the German, German population. So um, it, it's, it's not a black and white picture. Uh, crime is down overall in 26 and 2017. However, in certain forms of crime, there are uh, there is a disproportionate repre representation of migrants, according to uh, the Federal Office of, of Crime Statistics. So you'd say then this is more about perception rather than facts? Well, perceptions are very important. I mean, German cities, the, the actual city centres, have changed a lot. Uh, I myself went to Hanover this weekend, and uh, honestly, I, I could hear virtually no German being spoken on the streets uh, in the city centre two days running. Now, of course, I'm not saying that those are all migrants and we shouldn't lump everyone into the same bag. Uh, there could well have been a lot of German citizens walking around there who are simply speaking other languages. But of course, if you are somebody who goes to this kind of uh, protest uh, in Chemnitz against migrants, then you probably aren't making such distinctions. You're probably looking at a kind of disappearance of what you perceive to be your national culture. And that's feeding a lot of the, resent, uh, the, the resentment. And this is a very tough call for Angela Merkel because obviously her instincts are going to be with the cosmopolitan people who are going to this rock concert today, uh, but she's got to tread very carefully because in Chemnitz itself, if you look at the results of the federal elections last year, the AFD, the far-right party, was almost uh, on the same, uh, was almost level with Angela Merkel's party. And there's an, another election in Saxony of which uh, Chemnitz is a part in 2019. So this is going to be a very tough call for Angela Merkel, how she handles these events going forward. OK, Armin, thank you so much for joining us in studio. That's Armin Georgian, our international affairs editor.